Challenge accepted. Welcome back. As per usual, I went exploring and I found this is where the hunting post is that we need to get to. And to get through there, we do that and that. Now we can get to the post. While I'm doing that, they give you a proper welcome. Welcome back to uh, Mist 4 Revelation, as played by Andrew Teki. <coughs> Let's get into the hunting post. Oh, and there was a call that you guys missed back there earlier. Um, that was... I did write it down. Um, high, low, high. Okay, that's going to matter later. Firstly... Try this out, shall we? I'm not sure. What else can we do? Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Ah. Take a photo of this just in case. There we go. <coughs> so that's the first symbol, folks. <coughs> that's the first symbol that we needed for the totem. You know what, I'm just gonna... I know I need to get back there.
There we go. up here Right, so this puzzle is a pain in the backside because the idea is you've got to get all these white things to line up. All right. Um, yeah, these hammers to rest on the white pins. So that one there and that one there. And it's a mission. So... Okay, now notice, uh, notice when I do that, notice what happens when I slide this. Um, one, two, right? Okay, that's how you move the hammer.
There we go. There we go. <gasps> that took a lot of brain work. <clears throat> but we're through. Wow, look at this, huh? Seriously, how hard's it gonna be? Worst part's gonna be the foundation. Once that's in, got to be better than sleeping in the wreck, right? Now oh, there should be another totem. Now I'm going to go back to the swamp, if I can find this. Um, which looks to be there. Is that right? Yeah. It was, and I'm wondering, there must be another totem here somewhere. Surely there has to be. Here's another totem. Oh. 
because <coughs> we were here last time. Um, and Now we get a um, now we go back to that gate puzzle. Which is in the swamp. See when you've got the zip mode it's not so bad. Um, in previous Mist games I don't believe you had a zip mode and <coughs> excuse me. Um, that made things real tough. Um, we might just have enough totems, hopefully anyway, to solve this puzzle. Where are we going up here? Yeah, I believe up here. This way. <coughs> That's where we're heading. If not, there'll probably be one up that pathway. In fact, let's just hang on. Just in case. Yeah, there's a totem there. Look at that. I don't know if we've got this totem yet, so we'll see now. I think we have that. I'm pretty sure we have. So let's let's go back. Into <coughs> here. Now I'm not 100% sure about the correct order, so we're going to just have to see if we can figure it out. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, but we'll see now. Right, there are <coughs> there are five. Oh, look at that! It actually shows you with a triangle. I think it shows you. Okay, so let's see. What do we have to do here? Here's the first one, which is the sort of the four leaf clover.
See, we're going to use this to see what that is. And in this situation... There we go. Okay, I did cut out a bit of me playing around and checking the photos on my camera and stuff. So, yeah. But now we can head across here. To the next puzzle. <clears throat> so this I'm assuming will be where he lived um, afterwards. Um, like this will be a shack he built himself. Yeah, shall we? What if we can? Could come in use. <coughs> now we need to read another journal quickly. Not sure I can do this. Pan feels awkward. Keep slipping. <coughs> Been so long since I used one. But what else is there? What else to do? Went back to wreck today. First time since moving into house. Found his bones exactly how I left them. So clean now. Bleached white by the sea. How many times? 
times have I replayed it since then? Sun sinking into the waves. Tip of my spear. Not sure I can do this. Pen gleaming wet with the poison. See myself crouching low near the rock, so sure he will come because of his mate. Sometimes in my head, it happens different. Poison gets diluted, or one of her ropes snaps and breaks. He rears back, spear misses. Somehow they both get away. And we all get one more day worth living for. Reset traps today. Swamp water corroded one of them. Forced to go to depot to fix. Coming back, saw a Kamadile take down a Zeftir. Moved with such precision, not a single gesture wasted. Zeftir probably didn't feel a thing. It's not what I expected, living lakeside. It's calmer, not as windy. But rain still beats down like in the wreck, and it's hot, still hot. Only real difference is the screams, a lot closer now, on all sides, starting to get on my nerves. Can't sleep, too many screams. And when I close my eyes, the things I see, the faces, my God, Cyrus, did we really kill so many? <clears throat> Added it up, best I could. Eight years, three since I killed the last Serpati. Keep thinking I should do something for him. Play some kind of tribute next to the bones. Totem pole, maybe. God knows. Carving it would keep me busy for a while. <clears throat> Maybe I can make one for each of them. What's the use? What's the use? Can't go on like this. Can't think. Only real difference. Mm. Have to do something. Keep my mind off the dreams. Maybe, maybe go south for a few days. Sleep outside. My Godfather, did it have to be the same? Two weeks working my way through the South Jungle, and for what? More of the same, more of the same, empty nothingness. Can't take it anymore. Can't live like this. Kronax got in while I was away. Forgot how agile they are. Braver, too, when they're hunting in groups. Been breeding like mad ever since I killed their primary predator. Should probably do something about that. But maybe I can redesign one end of the bridge. Create some kind of lock to keep them out. Which is exactly what you did. Went back to the south jungle today, hoping I'd missed something. Saw a group of mangrees playing under their nests. Thought about replenishing supplies, but couldn't do it. They just looked too peaceful. Eventually turned to go and spied one of them watching me. Their lookout, I suppose. Wonder how long he knew I was there. Mm. Ink supply getting low. Mm. Watering it down, but mm. trying to make more. The way the channel would tree dwellers once taught me. Found some petals in the south jungle that might work for the ink. Picked a few to take back as an experiment. While picking them, I noticed something odd about the mangrees. In the north, they all scatter as soon as they spot me, but the south tribe only looks curious. Must be because I never hunted them. New ink seems okay. Would prefer a better color, though. I'll head back to the South Jungle in the morning, see if I can find different varieties. I don't believe it. Went back to gather more petals and found a bunch of them already picked. 
They were lying in a pile where I'd been working. Mangries must have done it. Imitating me? Spent most of the morning in the watchtower trying to observe from a distance. Find out, and out how they act when I'm not there. Couldn't see much, though. Trees are too thick. Would like to get closer somehow. I suppose I could build another post, but it'd have to be different this time. Not a lot left I can take from the wreck. Kind of like the idea of going all natural. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How the heck did Savidro's people do it? Been weaving support branches all day and my arms and chest muscles are killing me. Mangri sure got a kick out of watching, though. One of them even stopped playing long enough to come over and give me advice. At least that's how it seemed. Wouldn't stop chirruping at me. Made me want to rig up another sound system, see if I can try and talk back. Oh my god. It can't be. It can't. This evening, I was sketching in the post, trying to get their expressions right. Mangries were playing that game they liked to play, Fruit tossing. Ball must have rolled under the post. All of a sudden, I heard this cry I'd never heard before. A sequence of drawn out, hot highs and lows. Looked up and found all of them looking at me, pointing at the ball and making that sound. Like they were calling a name. My name. They've given me a name. What am I supposed to do with this, father? What am I supposed to do? He's changing. No, oh, that's it. Can't turn any more pages. I'm gonna have to call it here because this video is getting long. But uh, when we come back, uh, we will play more of this game. Uh, we'll look at the shirts and we'll get the rest of the f um, calls that are the names of these creatures and that's the next puzzle, big puzzle in this game. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.